is our team holiday celebration. Our team that's worked so hard that hasn't slept in like, I don't know, 30 days, 60 days. Um, some of our investors, some friends. I'm just excited. David's been a business partner and a friend, a mentor for 25 years. He's seen my path uh, entrepreneurially um, from a long time back when I was when I was the young, young tech entrepreneur. Now I'm like, I don't even know, like the middle-aged guy or whatever you want to say, but... Um, young stud to me. Whatever, whatever, whatever it is, man. Whatever it is. But um, we wanted to get together at the end of the year here to celebrate what we've done. So for those of you that don't know, and even for those that have been part of the journey, sometimes we, we, don't, even, we don't even remember what we do. Like, I haven't even picked my head up to see. We've built some pretty cool companies. We've built some pretty awesome products. And in 2023 is the year that the world is going to start to know about the next wave. Um, we started B-Labs back in um, 2017. And the companies we have now, as you can see here, there's eight companies we have. I won't go through each of them. But um, we didn't have these companies. We had like three or four of them. So there's a lot of things that have come up since we've started. Um, we've got a Web3 crypto NFT company with Basement Sports. It's a gaming company, KidCoin, parenting and, and financial management. Um, and others, and all these companies share a similar theme. There's a social value. It's not just about making money in the bottom line, but of course, they all have good business models. But there's no reason why you can't make money while also doing, doing good. That's always part of our, our MO. Um, and what we're doing here now is, so what, in five years, what are the highlights, David, right? It's, one is we raised $2 million when we launched B Labs to get started with this think tank concept where we're gonna build and, and launch these, these smaller ventures and eventually you know, grow them. A year after we raised the money, it was really 2018 when we raised the funds, right? Then in 2019, we sold our, our stake in our first company. So for actually more, more than the $2 million we raised. So we did like a $2.5 million exit, proof of concept. Um, and now, this year, we've actually launched our first um, NFT crypto Web3 venture in Basement Sports. Um, and that's literally just been finished in the last two, three weeks. So no one really knows about it yet. That's why we're here now. Um, and, and for, by the way, all those investors that came in, some of which are in this room, have now doubled the value of their investment. So how we're raising money now is at a valuation that's double what the valuation was in 2018, correct? So you know, we've achieved an exit. We've achieved you know, a, a doubling of our value and valuation. We have new companies that are cutting edge that we didn't have before. And we have you know, more, more gray hair in the beard um, and, and the hair than, than we had five years ago. So in my 25 years, I mean, these last five years have been it, like a rebirth, right? And so I'm ready. I mean, it's like the second half now. Next year, 2023, the next five years is like the second half, the next half, where we're going to take all the experience, everything we've learned, everything we've done, all these exciting ventures, which, you know, people like Hana, we've been talking for so long. Now we're finally ready, you know, 20 years. These guys have seen me, Sinan, Gio, like, kid, you know, you know, 401 kid back in the day. Finally, we're ready to go. And uh, with that said, David, add a few words. And sure. obviously, you know, go ahead. Yeah, take so it away. Three things. One, I'm an owner. Two, I've been involved with Armand for 20 years. And three, I'm a futurist, as some of you know, and I've been a professional futurist for 17 years. So speaking, first as an owner, I think I'm the third largest owner of the company just through 20 years of working with this guy. Um, and we did raise $2 million in 2018. And we have spun out uh, a JustCo for almost 50% more than that since then. So my, my value of my, of, the, of my ownership has doubled in two years. So anybody who came in at the $2 million round in 2018, on paper at least, it's the, their ownership has doubled. Um, we're looking to raise five to seven million. If we raise five to seven million with this time, it's flat out full bore. If we raise less than that, we'll go slower. But the interesting thing is that most investors invest to help build the product. The product's been built. The vast amount of the money that's going to be raised is going to go towards marketing and staff. So we're ready to press the button for growth. The second thing is when I met Armand in 2001, it was all about 401 kids. Some of you smiled because you remember that, right? 
And back around the turn of the century, the 401 investment thing was a big deal. And uh, I was really struck by Armand wanting to do an altruistic thing to get family, friends, networks to help families fund their kids' education. 20 years later, he's still altruistic. Um, I mean, these, these and so, so uh, basically, KidCoin is the final birth of what um, 401 Kid was. So, and as a futurist, my influence on him and on the company has been go in this direction. So one of the things I've known for years is that altruism, ESG, doing good, investing, green, whatever all that is, all of these work. I mean, if you look at, it, these are the four corners of the golden square, which is the place we want all families to be. So you have the three that are ready to go, basement sports, a huge potential in terms of marketing, merchandising, affiliation with pros, into schools, into daycare centers, into after school programs, into basements. And it also, um, with, with the great development team, is combining physical reality and screen reality. So it's augmented reality. So, so kids will be playing in a room like this, and it can be, it can be shown on the app live real time. So you can have competing um, teams, competing uh, leagues. So, so that's about kids. This is about children's literacy, which is a really important topic. Blend FC, eating healthy. Again, a real ascendant trend. And then finally, and this is the fourth corner, and this will be ready, yeah, product ready in a couple of months, 60 days. Not is it just only time management, which is one of the most popular apps in the world today, time management. But most time management are how to you know, be more productive with your time, how to work your calendar better, how to do lists, how to do things. And what Armand has done through his own individual lab, as himself, I've seen you, you've been doing this for like six, seven years, right? I mean, it's what I'm most interested in, because my problem is that I don't structure my time enough to get everything done. But what time bug is, is it is a, my words, not yours, it is a, a time management application and software that will help you realize what your true path is. Like you can say, oh, I want to spend this amount of time on spiritual, and this amount of time on family, and this amount of time at work, and this amount of time on self-improvement. And going through the process of time bug, you realize, oh, I may not be as spiritual as I thought, or, or I have to reorganize the aspects of my life that are important to me, not just how to get stuff done. So basically, I think this could be the hugest thing because it's, it, it's unrestricted demographically. I think this is going to be huge. I think all four of them are going to be huge. I think this one is the one that's going to grow the fastest, the, the soonest. But these two on either side have the largest potential. But all of them are into ascendant trends. Children's literacy, time management, eating healthy, and how to engage and create social activity in children. So, so in, in summary, we think that this round, however much we raise, those of you that come in on it will probably at least double on paper the value of your investment within two years. A lot of this room is friends of Armand, and I know that. And this is where it starts, and this is where we wanted it, because there's such a good feeling with the team, and there's such a good feeling. I mean, I, re I feel really good standing with this man because of what he's done. So it starts here, and then hopefully through the next 60, 90, 120 days, we'll raise the money and then press the go button. So this is the Basement Sports app, and you can see with, with, with the actual NFTs, or what we're calling the all-star level user, you can actually own one of, the, one of the players from the World Cup. So here we have like a France versus Morocco simulation. This is just a video right now, but you could be doing it on the app. So the kids or adults are playing in a real space like this. Like we can have the goals here now.
this being the main screen of the app for soccer, which is one of the three sports we have. We have hockey, baseball, and soccer. You create your teams, you create your players, you invite your friends, and then there's a button up here called streaming. If you hit that button, you live stream the game. You copy and you paste it to your Facebook, to your Instagram. You know, instant replays, highlights. You could just imagine the possibilities. We have sponsors section down here, right? We have, um, you know, pictures, also taking and sharing pictures of, again, the real play that's happening. Remember, this app is really just a scorekeeper. So again, we've just, in the last 30 days, we've done all this. And just literally today in the App Store, this version went live where you can actually purchase the NFTs with KidCoin or with real dollars for $25 or less, 15 to 25. And there's only 1,000 per country, and it's only these 32 countries right now that made the World Cup. But in the future, we'll have Italy, we'll have, you know, uh, we'll do other launches, other collections, but this is our initial collection. And, um, and what does everybody here get? Every, yes, thank you. Everyone who's here will get a party favor, a few things. We have, um, we have very nice shirts, by the way. We have, you know, these coasters you see, and we have... You got to uh, work uh, out to wear the shirt, though. What's that? Yeah, exactly. Um, we need models. Um, and, um, and everyone will get or has already received at least $100 worth of NFTs, which means... You know, I think I gave everyone one of these countries, a U.S. and an Argentina, since I think everyone would have an interest. And, um, and what we're doing is not just, I know a lot of people don't get it yet, and it's like, what is that space? And we're, we're doing what's called a custodial service, which is like, we'll, we'll actually manage your NFT portfolio for you the way you used to manage with a stockbroker before you had E-Trade and Scott Trade. You, you know, you call, how's it doing, buy, sell. We're actually providing that service for people. So anyone who's invested, or even just in this room, We'll have at least a couple hundred dollars worth. And anyone that actually comes in and invests, we're going to give more than that, like three, $5,000 worth of NFTs. We'll manage the portfolio for you. The more kids or adults play and use the NFTs in the app, the more value they'll get. They actually will earn, be earning kid coin and other, really, kid coin. And then they can use that kid coin to either buy more NFTs, to buy smoothies, or eventually that marketplace, you could, you could buy many things. You could, we, could, we could do an API with Amazon, right? It becomes real currency, real value, just a different kind of currency. So what you're realizing is how integrated all these businesses, all these brands are to one another. And the thing I, I touched on, but I, you know, I just want to read this. So this is a smoothie, and we have smoothies out. Everyone should try one, at least feel healthy, okay? It says, for every smoothie sold, Blend IFC gives one away to a malnutritious child uh, so I'm known as the CEO's futurist because I've given a dozen retreats to Fortune 500 companies, lots of other companies. And what companies are trying to do today is to take their business model that is just for making money and wrap it around to make it feel good about the environment or whatever else. And what Arman has done with all of these is built that in at the beginning. The altruism is at the beginning. So you're investing in something that is already starting out to make the world a better place in addition to making everybody in this room a lot of money. Yeah, yeah and it started here where guys like Sanan and Chad who are actually, you know, they're, they're doing the sips and cakes and they've been doing it for 12 years. So a lot of these ideas came from Thank you. where we all grew up and what we did. So with that said, Back to get the a drink game. and let's get Food. the game on. Thanks, and, guys. And if any of you want to talk about, you know, investing or whatever, Armand's the guy, I'm the fallback guy.